Hey guys, uh, twitch.tv slash mazeltoff here with a new feature and a new series that I am putting out on my YouTube channel. It will be a weekly wrap up from Monday to Monday of my World of Warcraft uh, BFA experience uh, for the previous week. I will go ahead and cover Gold Earned on Ticonderous and the five other servers that I am on. We'll go ahead and see what worked, what didn't work, anything that may not have met expectation. What was the primary focus for me for the previous week? Uh, where did all my attention go in game? Um, but also where did my attention go for projects that I'm working on, uh, such as here on YouTube, as well as uh, live moments on twitch.tv slash puzzle All right, uh, let me go ahead and just start. Uh, I did lose several days last week. My wife and I uh, celebrated our 11 year wedding anniversary. Uh, you can go ahead and send your condolences down below in the comment section, I promise you, I will go and show her every single one of those. Uh, not at one at a time, but I'll probably end up grouping them up for her. Uh, so yeah, feel free to uh, comment below. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started in content. Uh, we'll go ahead and start by showing the main server that I'm on, which is uh, US Tychondrius. We'll go ahead and start by showing the gold earned. Uh, right now I have 4.5. Uh, 4 million liquid gold. Uh, looks like I started with uh, a little bit under 2.8 mil. So gives me around 1.6 million gold earned on Tychondrius. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the other servers first um, to see the gold earned on those. And then we'll go ahead and just take a look at the servers to see, you know, what revenue was generating most of that income. Uh, taking a look at the other servers, uh, other servers did not make a thing, which is okay. Uh, most of the time spent, and we'll get into that in a little bit here in the video, was not doing sniping or spending any time on these alts. The only time that I spent uh, on these alts was just posting the auction house, and it wasn't even every single day. It was like every two days. Um, so I don't expect that much gold to come from here. Uh, it looks like if I switch to last seven days, uh, it looks like... Yeah, I uh, only sold two items. One was a BFA BOE that I sold for 113k. Uh, and then I bought it for 20k 16 days ago. So pretty good flip there. Uh, and it looks like the other thing that I sold was the Talon of Tempest, which I have been trying to sell probably for about seven months. Uh, I'm very happy to see that sold. So now I don't have to look at it in my bags. Um, did not make anything for these other servers, which is okay. Uh, like I said, I didn't spend that much time on it, so no harm, no foul. Looks like in total, made around 1.7 mil liquid gold. Uh, on average, I'm spending about three hours a day, four hours a day for the four days played last week. Uh, so in my opinion, for such little time spent in the game, uh, because of the wedding anniversary and the other projects that I'm working on, I uh, can't complain too much at 1.7 mil gold. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look what made me the gold. Uh, if I go ahead and prioritize for seven days for revenue, we'll go ahead and see what did well. Uh, so very top items, top three, all PFA content. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Reigns of the Tamed Blood Feaster sold that for uh, 147k. Chewed on Rain sold that for 134k. Uh, and it looks like Tithe Spray is listed several times. Uh, 74k there for 33 stacks, 20 stacks for 45k. Uh, looks like I'm selling it for 11 gold each. Awesome. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, Brad, not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and organize it by name. If I take a look at the name, uh, looks like sold a decent amount of Battle Scarred Augments. Um, out of the 21... 120 characters that I have from multi-boxing. Uh, I get a lot of these passively just from doing the table, I think. And then correct me if I'm wrong, below in the chat. Looks like this is the only way to make good gold on the table so far, unfortunately, with what Blizzard has released. Uh, I would like to see them get some more gold opportunities in there to make gold passively, uh, especially for altaholics like myself. Uh, it's good stuff. I miss it. I like it. Um, already mentioned the Chewed on Reigns. Sold that for about a day. Uh, let's take a look. Deep Sea Satin. Uh, sold 
a good amount, uh, three, four, five hundred of these. Uh, looks like I made around 10k, 11k, 12k, so not too bad. Uh, Draconic Potions, yeah, let me talk about this for a moment. Um, this has been selling very well for me, especially in like the since BFA launched. Uh, it has it is a Warlords of Draenor potion. If you are still doing Warlords of Draenor, just the garrison, even if it's something as simple as just doing the table, uh, you can almost spend about a minute to two minutes on each of your alts, getting the garrison resources that you need. You just wait until the vendor has it for 16 resources, and then you just buy the fish required to make the potion. Um, I have been selling these, as you can see, 10 stacks of 5, 10 stacks of 1. Yeah, very, very, very consistently. Uh, so very happy with the Warlords of Draenor uh, potions. Not surprised at all to see them there. Uh, enchanting. Uh, always, yeah, a lot of old world content. Looks like some Legion. Yeah, it looks like some of the Legion enchants are still selling. Uh, of course, always, right? Current content for BFA. Uh, looks like that was selling as well. Uh, fries have been selling really well for the last day. These are the engineering weapon uh, that you can use. I think it's a grenade throw. I have to look back at it. Um, all I know is I made a hundred of them, uh, and it looks like I've been selling them for a hundred gold. Um, I sold it early because I wanted to. I saw the price double. I should have waited because right now in Ticondrius they're at like three hundred and fifty gold. It's all good, right? I made extra gold, absolutely, uh, but I definitely could have made more. Uh, looks like Flare Core Mantle sold. Uh, looks like been selling a lot of the flasks. Five stacks of two. 13k there. Yep. So these were, a lot of these were just mats that were sitting around for a BFA a tournament of flasks. So that's good. Yeah. And a lot of it is just the random stuff that I make from professions, either established markets. Uh, on my server or just old content as well. I like to try to make one item of each um, and I have all professions across the board. So I try to make what I can for what sells and then just get it posted in the auction house. Yep, Temporal Crystals. Looks like I sold yeah, 14 stacks of 10 Temporal for 10k. 27 stacks of 5 for yep, another 10k. Yeah, here we go. Tide Spray. So, uh, a lot of time that I spent playing this game, I was just doing either the Warlords or Draenor uh, table for the 40-something ults that I have. Uh, keep in mind, I five box them. I do not do them one at a time. Uh, so, all I was doing was just doing the Warlords or Draenor table. Uh, making sure that I did the huts as well as pick up the extra garrison outside of the main building. And then just run to the vendor. What can I spend my garrison resources on? Either true iron ore or the fish to make potions, um, which is very minimal time spent. So all in all, we're talking about two minutes doing that. And when I multi-box, we'll just say it's three minutes just for traveling. Um, not that much time spent, uh, especially when you're talking about 40 alts. Uh, it adds up being able to produce the transmogs out of Warlords of Draenor, or the potions, and then just selling the raw mats. Right, goblin gliders, potions, uh, and the transmogs. Um, outside of that, it was a lot of uh, BFA Hyper Farms that I was doing on Twitch.tv uh, with our viewers, and yeah, sold very well. Looks like I sold around 70, 80 stacks, uh, and it looks like it was around 150k sold this week for Tide Spray. So can't complain. Very good gold. Uh, looks like a lot of quick, yeah, see, quick Alzai seems to be the, uh, good thing that's selling to me for, uh, Jewel Crafting. Um, this week, um, I have around 1,300 different expulsions, so I will be doing more with crafting. Um, I'll be doing it live on Twitch, seeing, hey, what should I be, what should I be flipping the expulsions for? And then, uh, be doing that live on Twitch, uh, so I will make sure that I include that in next week's video. All right. Um, outside of the BFA Hyper Farms, outside of the Warlords of Draenor table for the 40 something alls that I have from uh, five boxing, uh, a lot of my time went to getting started on YouTube. It is a this is literally my first week of getting on YouTube. Um, I ended up posting my first video about seven days ago. Um, I only expected to see literally double digits, not break 100. Uh, for the three videos that I posted, 
for the only a week has passed. I have gotten over a thousand views. Um, I'm doing, I'm the content creator and I get that, but none of this is possible without you guys. Um, so I do want to thank you. If you have visited my YouTube, if you have liked, subscribed, thank you guys so much. I appreciate that support. That means a lot to me for being brand new into something. Um, and then just getting uh, positive vibes sent back for that guys. Thank you so much. Um, what did I end up doing to celebrate, uh, that, uh, that benchmark for me personally as a content creator. Um, I ended up doing a WoW token giveaway on twitch.tv slash Mazeltov uh, this following Sunday, or I'm sorry, this past Sunday. Uh, congratulations uh, to Super Ducky uh, to winning the BFA, I'm sorry, yeah, the WoW token giveaway. Uh, you can go ahead and click on VODs if you're interested in watching that uh, giveaway live through the video, of course, not live. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and watch that video, you can uh, go to twitch.tv slash Mazeltov, click on videos, and then you'll be able to take a look um, at that giveaway. Uh, congratulations again, uh, Super Ducky. I do wild token giveaways or pet giveaways or even a BFA giveaway uh, when I reach certain benchmarks in the stream, uh, but I also do them every Sunday. Um, so if I don't hit any kind of a benchmark from a follower goal, subscriber goal, or from a... Um, uh, anything for YouTube or something I'm working on from a project standpoint, um, I'll either do wild tokens, I'll do pets, um, mounts, um, or if I really do hit a benchmark, uh, I always do, uh, I'll be doing some kind of uh, BFA giveaway. So like, follow, subscribe, support the channel. If you are interested in being a part of that, you absolutely can. And then uh, on the channel uh, for twitch.tv, I also do group farms. So a lot of the uh, BFA hyper farms um, that I'm putting videos and guides out, uh, I'll be doing those live uh, through the uh, Twitch channel. You can absolutely join. Just need to catch me when I go live, which is around 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, for the uh, YouTube, for the project this week, like I said, I put out three videos. The first one was Bloodgate. That was awesome. It was such a learning experience, learning the new tool to get the video edited, created, um, putting everything together and then get it out. Uh, definitely a learning experience for the folks that commented, provided feedback, longtime supporters of the channel. Thank you so much for that. It's very valuable feedback and I do appreciate it. Uh, it helped me with the second and the third video that I put out. Uh, first one was Bloodgate. The second one that I put out was the Crater of Conquerors and then the Corlane Avery, which are very well-known farms. Uh, something that I did a little bit differently um, is I kind of broke it down into folks that are uh, aspiring to do these farms that haven't done that. How can they properly set it up? What kind of items can you expect to get from this farm? Uh, where is it located? Uh, different parts that me personally I would like to see in a guide. I made sure that I included that in these videos as well. Um, yeah, so very good week. Very, very, very busy week. Um, like I said, I did lose several days. Uh, so this week's going to be catch up. Um, I will be online uh, this week. Uh, I don't think I'm celebrating any wedding anniversaries again this week. Yeah, I should be good. Um, thank you, everyone. For tuning in i do super appreciate it uh ways to stay connected will be down in the description below uh go ahead and click that like subscribe give me the thumbs up uh and if you are looking to uh, participate in the group forums just catch me live at twitch.tv slash go ahead and announce yourself in the chat say what's going on and then uh we'll go ahead and uh get you in all right thank you guys for your support i do appreciate you and happy goal for me